So, you want to do Temporis the easy way without dealing with endless fires, tidal waves and randoms on mass worlds? I'll show you how, let's get straight to it. These are the methods I've personally been using on my new Iron Man. When you get to Temporos, you need absolutely nothing in your inventory or equipment. You can get everything that you need from the mini game itself. So we're going to jump ourselves into a little setup game. Grab one harpoon, one hammer, one rope, six buckets, Fill the buckets up and then forfeit the match. Now we're all equipped for Temporos. If you find counting hard and you want to go complete autopilot, then slide one bucket to the bottom left corner of your inventory. This is basically our marker for how many fish we need to cook on the first rotation, which is 16. You'll see what I mean shortly. So we're going to start up a match and as soon as it begins, run to any fishing spot and start fishing until you have eight fish in total. That's two rows. You're always going to be in this same boat, so you're always running the same way for solos. I like to have my camera facing north, but it's really just personal preference. You just want to be able to see all three areas of fishing spots, which are here, here, and here. As soon as you have eight fish, just start cooking and wait for the double fishing spot to appear, which will be indicated by a leaping fish, or if you're using rune light, it'll be highlighted in a green square. There's an additional plugin you can use just called Temporos in the rune light plugin hub, which is where these timers and whatnot come from, but it's not necessary at all. Sometimes you'll be able to cook all eight fish before the double spot appears and then you'll just have to wait a couple ticks. Other times you won't finish cooking before it appears. It doesn't really matter. You just want to go there as soon as it spawns and fish until it disappears. Around 15% intensity, the tidal wave will occur. Just click on the totem pole. Congrats, that's the only one you have to deal with all game. We're going to run back and start cooking. We need 16 cooked fish for the first round. That's why we put the bucket down in this bottom left corner. Basically, you're just going to stop as soon as you hit the bucket. As soon as you've got your 16 cooked fish, run up to the cannon and load her up. This is going to drop Temporos to 10% health. And fun fact, at this energy level, it will never trigger a tidal wave or lightning strike again. So from this point onwards, for more than 5 minutes or so, it's just fishing and cooking for over half the run. Hence the chill semi-AFK nature of this method. Now if you're a lower level, say fresh 35 fishing up to around 60-65, you may struggle with the timing sometimes. For example, getting up to the ship before the fires appear. This method will still work, you just have to pay a little bit more attention and sometimes put out a few extra fires etc. Also, I have a slightly modified method at the end of this video which you can use to consistently clear in a similar time with the same minimal effort. Anyway, after putting in all the fish, we just run down and douse all the fires that are around, and then it's back to fishing, all the way until you have a full inventory of fish. Try to only fish from the double spawn spots and cook in between, but sometimes you will have to use a single spawn if you have nothing to cook, it's, it's not the end of the world. If you're a lower level, you just want to keep one eye on the intensity meter for this first rotation. Once it gets to around 90%, you want to run up and just start loading whatever fish you have already cooked. You can usually push it to about 92-93% if you're not lagging. Once you're a mid-level onwards, sort of around 65 plus fishing, you shouldn't have any issues catching and cooking a full inventory before 90%. If you don't manage to cook them all, that's still fine, it doesn't matter, we're just going to cook them after we attack Temporos. So once we're at the top, we're going to shoot every cooked fish that we have at Temporos and then go down and attack the Whirlpool. So once we're down, fish the Whirlpool all the way until Temporos comes back up. You see all that fire? Not our problem. Now you can literally just turn your brain off and it's fishing and cooking, rinse and repeat for the rest of the session. When you get Tempros down to about 65% essence, if you didn't get to cook all 19 fish on that first round, this is when you can just quickly cook the leftovers, go back up to the ship, shoot Tempros down to 10% and then again you'll get no more tidal waves and storms and you can just continue as normal. I show an example of this later in the video for the second method because it's more common when you're a low level. It won't happen when you're a mid to high level. And that's really about all there is to it. Finish the last two rounds the same way, fishing a full inventory, cooking, shooting, attacking the whirlpool and then repeat. If you want, on the third round you can drop all your buckets to get a few extra fish. This will guarantee the ninth permit and gives a small chance at a 10th permit but I'm usually too lazy to do this. If you do this, don't forget to pick up 6 more buckets at the end of the run. So doing this method, you'll usually be hitting 9 permits per run in around 9 minutes. Again, if you drop all the buckets, you can get a chance at the 10th. So a cruisy 55-60 to 60 permits per hour. With XP rates as per the wiki rates. My example shown was slightly higher because I was wearing the angler outfit at the time. You can refill your buckets at the pump on the boat between games. If you found the guide useful so far, please drop a like to spread the love and help some more people slay Temporos the easy way. As I mentioned during the first method, you might not be able to cook a full inventory of fish before 90% storm intensity. I'm showing an example on screen now. 
All you have to do is catch your full inventory, cook as many as you can and then shoot only the cooked ones. Head down and fish the whirlpool until you get Tempros to 60 to 65% essence or so. Then go and cook the leftover harpoon fish you had. Then run up, shoot him down to 10% and you can proceed as normal from here. The last two rounds are just as simple as the first method. You're just fishing, cooking and shooting. There's nothing else to worry about. You can just switch your brain off. Occasionally one extra tidal wave might get you like you can see on screen, but I mean that's that's one extra click on the pole and you're safe. And just so you can see the end of the run, it'll still be a sub 10 minute run, usually it'll be around 9.30 and of course it'll just get faster as your level increases. I've been documenting the journey of a brand new Iron Man in 2023, which is what got me to Tempros in the first place. So if you're interested in more Iron Man progress, drop a sub and check out the video on screen. Otherwise have a good one guys, see ya!